Well, hello there and welcome back. Total OS Today, Total Technology for beginners and beyond. Yep, that's where you parked your car. Hope you're in the right parking lot. Anyway, this is something new, Chatelet OS. This is supposedly designed for anyone who is new to Linux. Well, that's interesting because over, well, it's been almost 10 years now, and I've tested many, many Linux distros. A lot have claimed to be the best for beginners. And out of the hundreds out there, if not more, maybe just a handful are really that good and polished for beginners. So I thought I would take a look at this one since it is brand new. I think someone from the fine community at Spatry's Cup of Linux uh, asked me to take a look at this. So I thought, okay, why not I try to be fair? So I've been playing with this a little bit off and on today. And uh, let me just say that so far, this is probably one of the best, absolute best Linux operating systems for beginners I've seen in a long, long time. And that's the, not the best part of all. The best part, this runs pretty good in a virtual environment. Now, I know what you're going to say, Toss, why are you testing this in a virtual machine? Well, sometimes you find the gem, a little diamond in the rough that works fine even in a virtual machine. So here I is, here I am. Let's take a look at this and see what we have. This is the default desktop. Right click, let's go to desktop settings. Of course, you have many options there. I like to go to icons. And one thing I did was to uh, uncheck the home folder here. So I just leave it that way. Of course, you got menus, background, your wallpapers, many wallpapers to choose from. I'll leave it the way it is. This little widget here is a, it's a conky. Um, there are different choices for this and I'll show you that in a moment. The time, Thursday, it's 540 with the second circle. It's kind of different. I wish this had a date on it um, or year, but I'll show you that in a moment. Let's uh, move on. All right, to the bottom right. Now this is kind of strange. There is a triangle icon that represents the sound menu. Don't know why it's a triangle. At this point, don't really care because it just works. All right, so you have the different options here. Audacious is a very good lightweight music player that is customizable. This looks like Winamp. I think Winamp is no longer available for Windows, is it? Moving along, we have VLC, one of the best media Linux. And of course, the sound settings, pulse audio, installed pulse audio volume control is installed by default very good here you can see my microphone okay moving along internet my screencaster this is to restore the minimized windows or to minimize it all open windows and show the desktop either way time and date us keyboard the weather applet is installed by default this is okay but the very best weather application for linux by far is the one in linux mint mate or mate it's simple it works easy to read that is the best one that weather application should be standard in all of linux period all right now that i've gotten that off my chest moving along the ability to right click and add icons is one of the things i like about this chalet os which is based off the xfce desktop or off ubuntu add new items you can add little applications or little applets as they are called for example let's just type in tra and we'll go to trash add and you have the trash applet here now you may have noticed that the trash shortcut is already here well if you want to get rid of that right click desktop settings icons you can either check that or uncheck that i'll leave it the way it is it's cool all right moving along Terminal. Click it again. We'll go to Settings Manager. Similar to Control Panel in Windows. Many, many options here. I think this is pretty much self explanatory for beginners, at least most of this anyway. All right, moving along. Uh, we have here what the File Manager Thunar, I do believe. Yep. And by the way, I love the use of white space, the colors, this icon set. I'm not sure if this is Numix, but the way this looks, this is terrific. I wear contacts usually, sometimes glasses. I really like this a lot. 
All right, Thunderbird email client, you've seen this before, I'm sure, in Windows, so nothing really new here. It usually works pretty good. All right, let's get out of this. And of course, Firefox is installed by default. I also like Chrome OS and Opera web browser. I don't really have a favorite web browser right now. Each has its pluses and minuses. Anyway, Trash Shortcut, the Chalet OS style manager. This, this is pretty cool, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. White, blue, custom uh, panel here. I think I'll just leave it the way it was to blue. One thing I do want to show you was his desktop conky. Standard, minimal, info bars, or nothing. No conky. I like standard. Click that. Apply. I think this is more functional, more informational. So time and date year and my hard drive capacity, RAM usage, and CPU. So I think I'll leave that the way it is. All right, the Chalet OS website. Uh, I like the website a lot. Very easy to navigate to and or through it and read. Again, the very nice usage of white space and keeping it simple. That's what I like. All right. So this has the Alicia icon set. Okay. Moving along. The settings manager, of course, similar to control panel. And of course, the I down here stands for iPhone. <laughs> I'm sure someone just said, wait a minute, what did he just say? I'm just kidding. It stands for welcome to Chalet OS, of course. Welcome and thank you. We hope you'll enjoy using it. 14.04 version released, looks like February this year, desktop environment XSCE. The reason for this, we all know someone who tried to switch to Linux but was unsuccessful. Yep, the system that he tried was too different from what he was used to. There were too many new things and the old things were not what he expected. Sure, the goal of this project is to let anyone get used to Linux. That's a pretty bold statement, but I think this one has succeeded. Let's go to the start button if you want to call it that. Okay, the favorites here, Firefox, Thunderbird, Internet Messenger, Audacious. Great little radio player is okay. I prefer Radio Tray, it just seems to work better. The Ubuntu Software Center File Manager settings, a little search bar here. Favorites recently used. Why don't we go to um, each one of these real quick. Um, 2048, what is that? Sounds like a, a movie, a sequel to 2012. Oh, it's a game. Okay, um, how to play, use your arrows to move the tiles. When two tiles with the same number touch, they merge into one. Um, all right, that was exciting. <laughs> hey, it's not Halo, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's fine. Accessories, let's see if anything sticks out here. Eh, looks like we have a little notepad, notes, application, very good games. Play on Linux, you'll need that to try and install your Windows software in Linux. For me, it's random success, but anyway, moving along. Graphics, the GIMP, very good. Internet, all right, the usual here. Popcorn time, don't know what that is, but it, now, I'm, now I'm starting to get hungry. Multimedia. Mm, let's see, anything unusual here? Audio recorder, I used that in my Linux Smith. Cool, I did download and install Kazam, seems, seems to work okay. Of course, Brazeros, Batteries, favorite <laughs> disk burner. Sure, you can tell him I said that. He'll probably get a kick out of it there on a couple of Linux. All right, Pulse Audio and VLC. Office, LibreOffice not installed by default. I noticed that, it's WPS. Suite is installed. I think I actually downloaded that and tested that in Linux Mint or Ubuntu, and it seems to work okay, but uh, it's something different. Looks like, what's this? Uh, missing fonts, resolution, I don't want to fix that, but anyway, take a look at WPS. All right, moving along. So we looked at Office settings. Bleach bit is installed by default. This is similar to, I would say, C Cleaner. I did take a look at this. This one seems to work okay. 
and this space to be recovered through 300 megabytes I won't do that now moving along let's go to systems let's go to the task manager all right 24 percent I think I gave this what two gigs of RAM approximately so that's not too bad I suppose and wine this is another application that may allow you somewhat successfully to install Windows software inside Linux a couple of shortcuts here settings and I believe this is to shut down I'll just hit cancel for now but what can I say this looks terrific uh, I haven't covered everything it would take too long but if you want to try something new for Linux for beginners definitely take a look at this because this is a winner at least how I see it testing this in a very short time give it a try let me know what you guys think that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and listening don't forget to subscribe keep in touch and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future